so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right away. Um, so the good thing about this is the material that you need is, you know, it's it's uh, it's material that most people have at home. So if you have a paper cutter, that's great. Um, basically, we're what we're gonna try to do first is to cut a square out of matte. Uh, just printing paper and these paper I, I found it's just readily available and um, it's really nice uh, it holds its structure when when I when I dye the, the paper cranes so um, so yeah you can start with any uh, like matte just regular printing paper um, so you know if you have a paper cutter you would cut a square out of this rectangle sheet um, so you go to 8.5 and cut. Uh, if you don't have a paper cutter, um, you can use a pair of scissors. Um, so first you're gonna fold the rectangle uh, so that you have a, a really big triangle just like that. And you can use a pair of scissors to cut. along the line, along the edge of the triangle. The greater the, um, the, the square, the, the, um, the tighter the, the paper crane will be. So this cut is pretty important. You want to follow the edge of the corner, uh, edge of the triangle, but not, not try to cut the, the triangle itself. So when you open this, you know, you're left with a square piece of paper that has a line in the middle. Um, so we're already one step into the paper crane making pro uh, process. Um, after, and let me know if I'm going too fast um, and I can just kind of back up. But um, the second step is to fold this big triangle into a smaller triangle. The key thing is, um, you know, you're gonna try to make all the edges meet and into like a really sharp corner. Um, if you can do that, then you're a really good uh, uh, paper crane holder. Um, so, yeah, this process is really awesome. Uh, like, it's really good to move your hand. I'm, I'm really like a nervous person. So um, I've been folding a lot of paper cranes and it's actually helped me a lot of go through a lot and think through a lot of difficult things, especially during um, like COVID and, and the shutdown. Um, so the second step is raise one of the triangle um, uh, so that it's like perpendicular and open it up all the way to the center um, of the paper. And you're gonna smash it down so you can fold a square out of that one triangle. I hope everybody saw that. If you missed that, it's okay. Um, you know, there's that diagram that I drew. Um, so you can always refer back to that. Um, number four, step four in the diagram. Um, step five is you're gonna flip that square so that it's underneath and bring now this side, the this triangle perpendicular and open it up so you can also pull the square out of this triangle. And the beautiful thing about uh, the paper folding culture in, in Japan is um, there's a culture of uh, folding a bundle of 1,000 paper cranes to gift it to people who are sick or um, it's, it's considered good luck um, and it brings fortune to, um, to put your thoughts into, you know, the making and, you know, the act of giving it to somebody, it's usually um, good luck. It, it really brings good luck. All right, so after you do that two times to fold the square, 
um, you're left with this square that has opening at the bottom. Okay, so just keep the open side on the bottom, like towards you, and you're gonna open up the square. This, this part is a little bit difficult. Open the square and see this edge of the square, the middle of the square. So, so this step will give you um, like kind of like a elongated diamond shape if you do it, if you do it correctly. So again, on this side, I'm gonna show you again, the edge of the square is going to meet the middle of the square. And the more, you're, the more you fold these paper cranes, the better you're gonna get at folding them. Um, it's really, not, you know, the goal is to match that edge like perfectly uh, with the the inner, um, the paper, the edge, edge of the paper that's inside of the square. Okay. And pretty much most of the Japanese people, uh, people from Japan there. And so I hope everybody's with me. We got a long diamond shape. Um, and we have a square in the back. So in my diagram, it's right now we're at step nine. So we're gonna move on to step 10, which is just flipping. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So if you are confused a little bit, I'm gonna, we're gonna go over again. We're gonna open the square and meet the edge of the square to the middle, middle of the paper square. So, and do that on the other side as well. So, now you should have a elongated diamond shape. Um, that has the edges folded towards the middle of the diamond. Yeah, I'm using my phone right now, so I'm, the, the screen, the, my screen is so small in there. Um, okay, so yeah, I've folded these paper cranes made, uh, over and over again. So, you know, like I've gotten really fast at it, but when you're first starting, I think it might be a little bit confusing. Uh, the more you do it, just like anything, you know, it gets, becomes uh, a lot easier. Okay, so the next step is having this diamond shape and you know making sure that the, the open side is facing towards you. Okay, and then you're gonna bring this edge, the bottom edge of the diamond, and we're gonna fold it in so the edge meets the middle of the diamond. And then we're gonna do this to all, all four sides all four sides that's you know facing towards you okay so i've completed you know two of the sides we're gonna flip this so then we can do the same thing you know bring the bottom edge of the, the diamond and try to meet the inside, the middle of the diamond. And this is when you find out how good your paper uh, folding skill is by judging if you have like a perfect, perfectly, you know, uh, all the paper um, folding kind of meets and then if it's like really nice tight uh, fold there, that means you did really well. <laughs> the more you do it, I think it'll be, you'll get better at it. Um, 
yeah, again, you know, cutting perfect square out of that rectangle is also really key. Um, but um, if you wanted to, you know, get into paper folding um, origami, um, you can go to, you know, you can go online and purchase, you know, colorful um, square sheet that, so that you start with a, a perfect square. Um, just for this project, we're starting with the uh, printing paper. But um, you're almost at the end. So actually the bottom that opens up, this is going to become kind of like the, the head. One of, one of this part will become the head of the crane. So you're going to open it up on the side and fold it in so that so that um, one of the leg is now uh, folded in between these wings and it's facing up okay and we're gonna do that one more time so if you miss that you're gonna open up the edge fold it in and fold it so, um, so that, you know, uh, the edge of the, the head, the, the neck or, or the, the tail part is kind of meeting the edge of the, the wing. Okay. So we're almost there. One last move. You're going to open up one of the. I, I would choose the clean side and open up and then fold the tip in. So then you can fold the neck. And some people don't like to do that. Some people think it's a bad luck to fold the neck. It's like a, you know, like, yeah, but, but this, you know, just that last move, the folding the neck part actually completes the paper crane um, so yeah if you're if you'd like to contribute and you know have your paper cranes be part of my installation please send a bunch of these to the museum just like this you can stack it and put it in an envelope or um, Holly might have specific instruction for you uh, to send but um, you can send them like this if you want to keep it and kind of finish the actual paper crane you can open this up and there you go there's that paper crane one last thing yeah for once you open it it's really difficult to to put it back to where it was flat so if you were um you know shipping it i would just um not do that last step and just keep it like that but I hope you guys got that. Thank you so much.